So for project development and documentation, we're going to run through a series of lectures. Uh, those lectures will be in the order of the objectives in the ARE 5.0 uh, number 5 exam that this is. Um, one of the things that you'll notice is that as we go along, uh, there will be a number of topics that got introduced in previous exams. And so you may hear me say you can check out the introduction in a different exam or something along those lines. Uh, and I'll try to sort of do a brief introduction again so we can kind of keep things moving here. But if you feel you need more information, you can always go back to those other exams. If you're taking the videos all the way through from the beginning, then it should be sort of straightforward and logical, and that's fine. Uh, if you are not taking them all the way through, if you're doing uh, sort of um, mix and match, that's fine too, but you may need to sort of bounce around and, and find some of the uh, beginning portions in some of the other exams. Uh, but we'll follow the organizational principles of the, the way the exam is laid out. We'll also be looking at some example projects. We'll be looking through our goals matrix to sort of help kind of place some of the issues in the larger scheme of project goals. We'll do some scenario considerations. So that's where we're kind of looking at some issues uh, kind of from a side angle in order to make sure that we're not uh, getting overly uh, focused on just the detail, that we really have a chance to sort of step back and kind of think about it a little bit. Uh, the NCARB folks have uh, expressly said that that's their intention, is to get you to focus more on uh, kind of situations and being able to make reasonable decisions from a set of uh, information. Uh, so we're trying to move away from kind of direct kind of question answer and more here's a series of different pieces of information as a situation, what's the best thing to do from that? So we'll try to start that process by thinking about some scenarios. We'll look at some direct documents. So we'll look at some uh, examples from uh, code and from standards, uh, a few other things like that. So we'll have a little chance to peruse some of those direct uh, documents. And then we'll sort of spice things up every so often with some questions just to kind of keep us on our toes. So uh, let's go.